hello and welcome back to my channel today i will be doing a full grocery shopping haul with you guys because my fridge is completely empty and i need everything from protein to veggies fruits and i want to show you guys basically everything i make and i'll let you know a little bit about my meal prep and i'll just go into my everyday meals currently i'm in a small cut so i'm looking to just slim down a little bit drop some fat but really want to maintain that muscle so i'll be staying high in protein i'll show you what i pick up from the grocery store you're gonna come with me so let's go see what i pick up and i'll show you what's in my fridge right now so this is my fridge right now as you can see fruits are pretty much empty there's not many don't be fooled there's not many vegetables here a lot of it's just onions and potatoes in the back so need to stock up on that i've got some lean ground turkey for tonight hummus blueberries more blueberries this is what i just picked up right now so this doesn't count either some turkey bacon one grapefruit so definitely need to get more fruit and then i've got my fresca this is a natural grapefruit flavor and there's no sugar in it it tastes amazing and it's just great if you don't want the added calories and you're craving a soft drink or a soda i've got a few cherry tomatoes left costco egg whites and costco greek yogurt this one is my favorite because it really has nothing else in it and i find it's the most clean greek yogurt that i found out there this is usually stacked so i definitely need more and i've got my costco brand almond milk almond butter chia seeds a few of my sauces. I always get a vegan mayo. I got this at a local grocery store near me and I love it because I can finally have mayo since I try to avoid dairy as much as possible. And finally, my ketchup and my sun-dried tomatoes. I can put this on everything. I love to put it in wraps and sandwiches. It just really adds some flavor. I know that many people get a sugar-free or low-sugar ketchup, but honestly, I just put a little bit, so I'll get the regular one because if not, I can't stand it. That is pretty much it. This is what my freezer looks like. I actually just started up on all these frozen veggies so i'm pretty good there low on chicken i usually put about one chicken breast uh, in a ziploc bag so i can make separate meals and i only have two of those usually i have like six to eight and then i have my popsicles so great for the summer they're organic fudge bars and they're only 90 calories organic they taste insane all right so my first stop is costco i'm going to get my meats my greek yogurt my eggs anything that i need like more of um not my fruits and veggies i will always pick up my fruits and veggies at a local grocery store because i find them more fresh and i don't believe that they're sprayed with as many pesticides or any kind of chemicals because the ones at costco may look amazing but that's usually why they're one of the worst produce for you so you want to be careful of that the parking lot is jam-packed right now so i'm gonna try my best to show you everything that i put in like my cart but if not i will show you at home let's go All right, so I just got to Adonis and this is where I'll pick up all my fruits and veggies. I'll probably show you what fruits and veggies I get at home because it's really hot and I don't wanna be sitting in the car with these. I really wanna bring them home and just put them in the fridge as soon as possible. I'm gonna go do that and then I'll show you. All right, so I got my groceries. It's been like a few hours, so I'm exhausted. I'm gonna have my boyfriend help me put them away and then I'm gonna show you what my fridge looks like afterwards and I'll try and give you some meal prep ideas and you're gonna see me use this Costco wagon that I got lifesaver when you live in an apartment so you could just stroll all your groceries up to your apartment.
So these are my favorite chocolates to buy. They are sugar-free, made with stevia leaf extract because I'm really trying to avoid sugar overall. And I love the flavor caramel because it tastes exactly like a Mars bar. But I will say that these are super local to me. I find them at the drugstore in Montreal or like at nearby grocery stores. You do find so worth it. Taste is 10 out of 10. So I like to buy two types of tortilla wraps, this one and this one, both at Costco. This one is obviously the healthier option. It's a whole grain bread. This is just a regular white wrap. I do have this one very often for lunch. I'll make chicken wraps and egg wraps with this one. But for dinner, this wins. Everyone likes, you know, the regular burrito bread. And this is the one that I prefer for that. Rather have the unhealthy wrap and stick to my meal plan than have the healthy wrap and get tired of it. The calories are the same for both wraps, but overall these ingredients are a lot better for you and it's always better to try and reach for a whole grain wrap over a regular white wrap i ended up buying this granola it's really really hard to find a granola that's healthy for you that has a lot of good ingredients but this one ended up checking off my list in terms of the ingredients just a little tip in case you're ever getting tired of your food just switch it up add a little something to it and you'll likely fall in love with it again. All right, so this is what my fridge looks like after finishing up all my groceries. I'll probably have to restock not half of this portion of this next weekend, but I'll be pretty good for the next few weeks. There are two people eating this, so this isn't for one. I just want to make that clear. I got oranges, pears, apples, and peaches are very on sale right now, and they're in because it's summertime, so there's many options for that. Tomatoes, cucumbers, avocados were also on sale. I think they were like 99 cents, so I grabbed some avocados. These russet potatoes, game changer if you want to make them in the air fryer. They taste like the most delicious fries you've ever tasted, so russet potatoes, not like any regular potato. Keep them in mind, air fry them, they'll thank me later. And then the chicken, I still have to unpack and then put it inside the freezer. I typically just make this in the air fryer. I add some spices on it and I'll either make some chicken nuggets. I know it's another investment, but I highly, highly recommend that you get an air fryer if you really, really want to stay on track because it's so easy. It's so convenient. You can put in the little sheets that I put. I'll link it in my Amazon storefront. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, from it never gets dirty at the bottom. You just throw out that little sheet of paper and saves on cleaning time. You can prep, you can cook your week's worth of chicken or whatever at once. You can do sweet potato fries. You can do any fries. You can put your veggies in there. By the way, this is our new light that we got off Amazon. Let me know what you think. I don't know if it's too much. Just to give you a breakdown of what I typically eat in the morning, it's usually eggs, toast, turkey, bacon with berries or a smoothie bowl or a shake if I'm on the go. And then lunch, I'm either gonna make a chicken salad I'll do a pesto chicken salad, add some of those mini cucumbers and the cherry tomatoes, put in a drop of pesto and you're done. You can make a chicken wrap. All you need are a few ingredients. Then for dinner, I'll do the lean ground beef quite often, wrapped with tomatoes, vegan mayo, and I'll saute some peppers with it too. And it's so, so good. You have no idea. I will also make the red lentil pasta and I'll put it with some healthier meat sauce that I find at the grocery store. I'll mix it up with that. Or I'll buy some turkey meatballs because beef is just not working for me. It's too heavy for me. I recently stopped beef and I'm leaning towards everything turkey, ground turkey. I feel a hundred times better. So if you're like me and you're a fan of tacos and burritos and you've been having beef quite often, try and switch to lean ground turkey. You will feel a change. And then for my snacks or my third meal, whatever you want to call it, I'll have yogurt. Um, depending on the time of day, again, I'll have a shake. I probably won't have two shakes in a day though. Maybe I'll make some protein pancakes. I really try to stick basic or I'll use whatever protein is left over and make one of the other options that I had planned for lunch. Just something light to get me through the day. I had to turn it off. I couldn't take that light anymore. If ever you guys have any questions about what I eat or different recipes that you're more interested in hearing more about, please let me know in the comments below. I'm happy to make like an IG reel out of it and show you how to make it. For dessert, I'll typically have one of those chocolates that I showed you or another piece of dark chocolate if I don't have any of those. Or I'll have a fruit or again, I'll have one of those popsicles that I mentioned before because they're super yummy and filling. And that is it. That's my grocery haul. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked today's video, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one.